Here we have some information on mutual funds. It talks about a rating from one star, lowest to five star, with a sample of 25 mutual funds. All right, so we want to know, and we're given some information bulleted here, 16 mutual funds were domestic equity funds, 13 mutual funds were rated three star or less, seven of the domestic equity funds were rated four star, two of the domestic equity funds were rated five star. And once again, our sample was out of 25. So we want to know what's the probability, so the probability that of selecting a domestic equity fund. Well, we can see right here there were 16. So this would equal 16 out of 25, or putting that in your calculator, 0 0.64. All right, and then it says, what is the probability of selecting a fund with a four star or five star rating? This is where you learn how to use complements. It said 13 were rated three star or less. So the probability a four or five would be one minus the probability three or less. And it's just an easier way when you get working with complements. So 1 minus 13 out of 25. And of course, we can get do that crazy math stuff with common denominators and get our answer of 12 out of 25, or that is 0 0.48. All right, then it says, what is the probability of selecting a fund that is both a domestic equity fund and a fund with a four star or five star rating? So both then of the domestic equity and a four or five star are these two, the seven and the two. So in other words, so probability, um, both domestic equity, and, which is the intersection of the four or five, would be the total, the seven plus two, nine out of 25, or 0 0.36. All right, what is the probability of selecting a fund that is a domestic equity or? So the or is, an, or a fund with a four star or five star. So the or is the union. So I'm looking at the probability of the domestic equity or the four and five star. So remember, you get the probability of the domestic equity, which is the first part, 16 over 25, plus the probability, the four or five, well, that was the second part, the 12 over 25, and then you have to subtract out our last part C, the intersection, because that's overlapping. And I get 0 0.76. So it's just understanding some of this terminology that and intersection or union complement one minus a probability that you know to be able to easily answer these questions.